When I was 22 years old, I moved to Thailand, planning to stay for a single year. I fell in love with the place almost immediately and one year turned into six. I was able to explore a lot of my passions there, including watch collecting. To me, watches are tied to travel and adventure. So now, a decade later, I'm back out on the road, sharing my discoveries through a series called Watches in the Wild, a show that celebrates the many expressions of watch culture from all over the world. To me, this experience is like visiting a museum. I'm starting where it all began for me, in Thailand, home to a booming watch community full of passionate collectors. $300 watch to a $5,000 watch. That's crazy. When I first got to Thailand, I noticed the prevalence of Thai market limited edition watches, particularly Seiko's. We have a few US market exclusives back home, but nothing like what Thailand gets. There are more Thai market limited edition Seiko's than you can count. I always wondered why there were so many, so I hit the streets of Bangkok to find out. When it comes to Thai limited edition Seikos, the monster occupies a special place in the hierarchy of references. It's also where a lot of collections start, and one of the most serious Thai Seiko collectors is Kun M, and he's right here in Bangkok. A hell of a Seiko collection. My question to you is, why Seiko? Well, I have to go back to like uh, when I was young, okay. after I graduated. I try to searching about the watch that should be the perfect watch for me mm. that I can pay. One of the Seiko model mm -hmm. at that time it still have the name SKX something uh, that, yes. that is normal for Seiko, right? It look nice. Mm. The dial, the bezel, the, everything is look like the the monster. It's uh, coming up with the the, the slang of the Omega C Master. C Master. C Master. But the C Master is cool. the value is high. Yeah. But this is cheap, so I call it C Monster. Sea monster. Yeah. The sea monster. Sea monster. Okay. Then after that, people call it Charlie as the monster. That's mm. how I become the first one to call it the monster. The name monster caught on and became so widespread within the collector community online that even Seiko now brands it as the monster. But before speaking with them, I had no idea where the name came from. It's almost like it came onto the scene and fans just started naturally calling it the monster. But it turns out the origin story of the nickname is rooted right here in Thailand. There is a watch I want to talk about because it's important to me personally. It's one of my all-time grails, and I'm sure anyone who's deep into monsters. It's the yellow monster. So this, this kind of started a lot of people in limited edition monsters. Right? It was actually the first limited edition yeah, monster. Limited edition. And it was made for like a diving expo here in Bangkok. You didn't buy this one then. No. No. Okay. Where'd this one come from? I know that there are three limited edition releases already. Okay. Which is the yellow one yeah. that we're talking about, and also the blue yeah. and the red one. Right. Then one of my friends, hey, I can get for you just a little 35,000 baht. Wow. Very good price. Then yeah. I think, yeah, why don't I get it? Because it's the top rare it, of the monster, yeah. the yellow monster. The one holy is, grail of yeah. the monsters. It's, yeah. When the yellow monster came out, it was $300. You bought it the first time in 2007 for $1,100, roughly. You sold it, then you had to buy it back again. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know how I'm, much? I'm not going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, not going to ask you how much. Though. I bought it back yeah. uh, with uh, 50,000. 50,000 baht, so still under $2,000. Yeah. So now, what is the market value of the Yellow Monster? If you want to buy one, I mean, they're only 300. Yeah. If you can find it. If you can find it, right? Yeah. If it's, it's a it's used one, yeah. 5,000. Plus. $5,000. So a $300 watch to a $5,000 watch. That's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. That's insane. The monster debuted in the year 2000. It's interesting because unlike the SKX007 and its cousins, it's not clearly based on any historic Seiko design precedent. It was a bold, new design when it came out, and it wasn't immediately embraced by the collecting community. But in just a few short years, it became a cult classic. The street price was around $200, and in 
and it served as a gateway Seiko for many collectors in the early and mid 2000s. Even with polarizing looks, the Yellow Monster is an undisputed grail for hardcore Seiko fans. And with only 300 made, they rarely come up for sale. The best way to score limited editions these days is to visit the boutique right when they first come out. I managed to link up with Hiroyuki Akashi, the managing director of Seiko Thailand, to find out more about the Thai market limited editions and a little bit about the business of watches overall in Thailand. Akashi-san, yes. thank you so much for taking the time out thank you very much. to help me understand what makes the Thai market special to Seiko. Back in 2000, we have globally launched first pieces of Seiko Monster. Seiko Monster, the okay. legend. Yes, that's right. And then immediately after launch into the Thai market, mm -hmm. it became super popular wow. in Thailand, yeah. among Thailand fans. Seiko understood this situation in Thailand, right. and they really appreciate mm -hmm. the passion mm. of the you know, uh, Seiko fans. Right. Then, you know, they decided to create a Thai limited edition of Seiko Monster. Yeah. After. And that tradition has continued yes. for Monster and many other watches. Yes, that's right, that's right. So you have brand boutiques, yes. watch corners, which uh -huh. are pop-ups kind of too. Yes. Then department stores. Yes. So you have multiple retail channels present right. in this market. That's right. There are many, many Seiko and Grand Seiko fans mm -hmm. in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, there are many private Seiko fan or Grand Seiko fan group mm -hmm. in Thailand. And also, you know, we are lucky and we are very happy. We have a chance mm -hmm. to, you know, communicate directly with them. As you can imagine, the Seiko fan mm -hmm. in Thailand is very, very enthusiastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It seems like the recipe mm -hmm. for success in terms of getting limited editions is passion number one. Yes. Passion mm -hmm. and a growing, strengthened relationship between Seiko Thailand and its consumers. That's right. That's ah, right. fantastic. Mm -hmm. So the Yellow Monster marks the genesis of Thailand's limited editions, but the trend has extended to plenty of other models in Seiko's range too. Exploring M's collection, I found watches I hadn't ever seen before, like this mini monster honoring Dr. Namjai, a famous veterinarian. The proceeds from the watch went to saving animals. There were also all of the Zimbe watches, and even a Philippines-only limited edition. So the collection started here, yes. with the black and orange monster. Yes. I think that's happened to many of us. I, same way for me. A lot of the uh, Thai limited editions are, are good looking, but some are a little more interesting looking, like the, the sun and the moon monster. So on this one, there's kind of a depiction of a sun. Okay. And it, so it's interesting. So I think we have to be honest, like this one looks funny. It does. <laughs> it does, <laughs> right? Since I'm the one that collect all the monster collection. Right. So anything that they sell, I have to get it. So let's talk about some of the more recent limited editions. So let's start with this one. I think this, this is a very, very good looking Marine Master. It looks great with a gray dial and blue bezel. And how'd you find this one? So I have friends in Hong Kong. I asked them to get it for me. So you kind of, over the years, have set up a little watch network around the region. So wherever there's a limited edition, you have someone to call and get it there. Yes. We'll notice a pattern here. There's a lot of yellow in Thai. And this, this is also a Thai limited edition, a yellow sumo. Yes. Like the yellow monster, the yellow sumo must be in demand. It's a more popular one. Yellow is a significant color for Thai people. It's closely associated with their beloved king, both the late Bomibon Adunyadet and his son, the current reigning monarch, King Maha Wachiralongkorn. And it's often worn on Mondays as a sign of respect for the monarchy. The numerous yellow limited editions are a nod to this tradition. Seiko even made a limited edition land monster in 2007 to honor the late king's 80th birthday. He regularly wore a Seiko throughout his entire life, despite the watches made in his honor, from brands like Patek and AP. I'm trying to wrap my head around why. Why Thailand? It seems like every month there's a new Seiko Thai mm. limited edition. I think because of the name of the monster. Okay. That the, the monster that came from, from Thailand. Came from Thailand. Interesting. And it does help the monster 
well known in globally, mm-hmm. and that is the the point that Seiko Thailand see the opportunity. As a huge fan of Seiko, this to me is like just amazing. So thank you for giving everyone this opportunity, and thank you for the time for talking to me and explaining this, and and good luck in the future collecting them all. So that's going to be a hell of a task. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A collection like this could only exist in Thailand, where the watches originated. Thais love watches, and they love Seika, and that combination has resulted in some fantastic limited editions. I wore my own SKX diver during my visit to the kingdom, and it felt perfectly at home. Many of the Thai market limited editions have never left the country, and the best way to see them is to go straight to the source, even if that means booking a ticket halfway around the world. On the next episode of Watches in the Wild, we take to the skies and trace the history of early pilots' watches. Thank so you. this watch has been to the South Pole or Antarctica. It's been, it's been a very long way <laughs> south, basically, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's still uh, incredibly, it's still functioning perfectly today. Yeah.